Hello everybody, happy Halloween. I am coming to you today on Wednesday. I was under the weather at the beginning of the week and I was not feeling good. So I lost a couple of days this week and I have so many things going on that it was a little oh, scary for me, but I am good and I'm back and I cannot wait to okay. show you this snowflake showcase. I'm gonna give it just a minute to see if we've got everybody jumping on. Um, so today's Halloween. However, I'm not doing Halloween projects because it's too late for that, right? If you haven't made those yet, I probably can't help you. <laughs> now, maybe you could make them real quickly, but I'm moving on to tomorrow. Tomorrow's November 1st, and Stampin' Up! is releasing a whole suite of products for us that will only be available November 1st through November 30th unless supplies run out. Hi ladies, good, I'm glad I've seen some of you join me. Gina and Christine, hello. Um, so the Snowflake Showcase is what they're calling it. You've probably seen this already. Looks like this, we have um, how many products? Five different products on here. And I decided to focus really on these beautiful framelits. You can see there are so many framelits that I had a hard time fitting them on my magnetic card. Um, what is, does it tell us exactly how many? I'm not sure, I probably could have looked 20. 20 framelits, that's quite a bit. And I'm in the United States, so in the United States these will be 39, $39. And then there's two stamp sets that coordinate, and the one I'm using today is called Snow is Glistening, and this one is a big set too. It has 14, 14 stamps, and they're $21, and they're photopolymer, which you'll see in a little while. That means they're clear, um, completely clear. And then the other stamp set is called Happiness Surrounds, and it is not a winter Christmassy set. It's uh, more kind of general. There are some flowers, but they coordinate with the snowflakes. So that's a great way to get use of those snowflakes all year long is to have a stamp set that they will cut out that's not just snowflakes, right? So I've been playing around with it, um, with these products um, for, for about a week now, and I love them. Hi, Joy, thank you, I am feeling better. Thank you, oh, thank goodness. Um, so I'm gonna make um, a project with you today. I gave you a little sneak peek over there and I actually have two more made in different colors that I'll show you at the end of the video. Um, now, this is my product of the week, this Snowflake Showcase um, suite of products. And so I'll be doing three more projects over on my Facebook group on Friday. And I will link that, hopefully I remember this week, to put that link up in the description so you can go over there and join my group page if you haven't already. I do lots of sharing over there and you'll be more likely to see it if you join the group because in the Facebook business page, um, Facebook kind of regulates that so that our Facebook feed isn't filled with ads. But if you want to see lots of um, ideas and stuff from me, make sure you join my group page. Now for um, this week, like I said, I'll be doing those three projects on Friday and I offer those make and takes free with a minimum order. Um, we have a new host code this month, and you'll see it when I flip the camera around. So tomorrow, if you want to go ahead and put your order in for the Snowflake Showcase, you can use that host code, and I'll include you in that order on Friday, okay? Um, also, today, if you share my video, I'm going to give away a hostess stamp set on Friday to one person who shares this video. So if you guys would share, I would be so grateful. All right, well, let's get started. I'm gonna flip the camera around. I'm not too terribly fancy with this. So hopefully, let's see, you guys can see out my window. I'm gonna flip you around. Oh, UPS is here, right on time. So that means that the dogs are gonna come say hello. Oh, goodness. Now it is Halloween, I know, spooky, and I'm messing with the microphone, so just hold on, hold tight. Oh, goodness. All right. Hey, boys, go. Go on. Go on. They don't need you. Go on. All right. I think he's leaving. Hopefully they will stop. Sorry, guys. All right, so let's look at some of this um, 
The Snowflake Showcase. Well, I think he's gone. Okay, good. Just making sure I didn't have to sign for anything. Me and the UPS guy, we need to coordinate our schedules, I think. He did bring me a Stampin' Up! box. That's exciting. All right, so here is the card that we're making today, right? Here is the stamp set we're using. It is actually called Snow is Glistening. The other stamp set, I, like I said, is Happiness Surrounds, and they both coordinate with these beautiful framelits right here. Um, what I'm using really only today, actually, I take that back. I'm not using this one today. I'm using a sentiment from the only thing I'm using is this one right here. The other, the rest of it is going to be made with these beautiful framelits. Um, there's another thing in this suite of products that I have almost used all of them. They are these snowflake trinkets, and they're really nice because they're flat. They're Yes, they're made of metal, but they're also, they lay flat on your card and they will um, not bulk up your project too much. Oh, Lisa, I know. My dog set everybody else's dogs off. They're, they're sleeping peacefully, of course, until they hear me go live, right? All right, so let me show you how to make this. I want to start by saying that I pinned a card on Pinterest years ago that that is this card is based on and that card was made with uh, watercolor paint which I don't use so I wanted to see if I could do it with our inks and I'm very very happy with the way that it turned out we're gonna create an ombre look this is our watercolor paper I have not cut it down at all let me turn that fan off so that the camera doesn't roll too much um, it comes in, this is a full sheet, and we're going to do the full sheet because half of it's going to go on our card, and the other half we're going to use to die cut these snowflakes, all right? So get out a piece of chipboard. This is, I save all the boards that my paper comes in, my DSP, and my glimmer paper, and I just save them for when I want to watercolor. And you're going to tape your paper down. I'm just using some old washi tape. You can also use painter's tape, which I think actually might work a little bit better. The washi tape, once it gets real wet, does tend to bubble up. But I have just been using washi tape. So use what you got. Now, the key to this project is lots and lots of water. And we're going to create an ombre, which means we want it from, to go from dark to light on the bottom. And the two colors I'm using are Gorgeous Grape and Melon Mambo. Reba, your dog went crazy too. Sorry, you guys. I just wanted to create some excitement for your dogs today. Yeah, my dogs, ugh, schnauzers. All right, let's start with, I'm gonna get some ink on my blocks. This is just one of my blocks. This is how I'm picking up my ink. I'm putting it here on one of just, you know, any of your clear blocks that you have. And I'm going to do the same with my Melon Mambo. But before I lay down any color, I'm going to take my Aqua Painter. If you haven't seen an Aqua Painter before, it's like a marker with a paintbrush tip that you fill with water. It unscrews and you just fill it with water. You could also fill it with alcohol, which I haven't done in years and years and years. I only do water now. And I'm going to squeeze it and the water is going to come out. You can kind of see that. And I'm going to be very, very generous on my watercolor paper with water. I want to lay down a lot of water so that when I start putting this color down, it's going to spread and it's not going to just sink right into that watercolor paper, okay? So get lots and lots of water. And now I'm going to start picking up that, that gorgeous grape. See how it's running down um, that water? All right, so I'm gonna do that now. I'm gonna pick up some Melon Mambo, put it here, and I'm actually gonna lean it, kind of pick it up so that it'll start running down. And I'm squeezing right now, squeeze, 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 water, so that that water is gonna carry the color down. And notice I'm not going down here because I want that to be very, very light. I'm just gonna do some more dark up here. It's gonna start running off, so make sure you've got some paper towels to protect it. Now what I found is to achieve a really rich color, I had to do this about three times, okay? So I'm gonna get this all complete. I want all the paper colored. I'm squeezing my aqua painter until it goes all the way down. Let's add some more. And just keep adding that color in until I feel like we've got a good Squeeze right here and get all of that to blend. So we've got a good 
coverage. And then I'm going to set it aside and let it dry. It's going to take maybe 10 or 15 minutes. And then I'm going to do the exact same thing again, okay? And I'm going to do it until I get a dark color that I like. I did about three times, maybe four times. Um, when I show you the other cards uh, later today, you'll see how the colors are um, the colors are different. And some of them took four coats, but I think this one was just three. Now, because we're on live and we don't we don't want to sit around and wait for that to dry. By the magic of television, isn't that what they used to say? I have one that I did earlier in the week. So here it is. And I'm gonna take off all my washi, pull it off, and there we have it. Isn't that beautiful? It's very rich in color. Let's look at it compared to this. You can see, hopefully, how much darker it's gonna fill in and it's gonna blend. Um, right here, see where I've got too much color? When I go next time, I'm gonna make sure I have more water there and it's just gonna blend all that purple down into the pink. All right, so we have this. Let's move these guys out of the way because those are just asking for trouble, right? To leave those open. Um, I wanted to do something different. I didn't want to do Christmas with this. I just kind of wanted it to look a little bit different. So that's why I went with the colors that I went with. Now I'm going to cut this down. And actually, I need my bigger trimmer for this if I can find it in my mess you guys i am super deep into preparing for my retreat and for on stage so i am crazy right now with stuff everywhere all right so i'm going to cut off a four inch piece i want it to be four inches and then i'm going to cut off this top piece right here and it needs to be five and a fourth all right there we go so four by five and a fourth i'm going to put it on a gorgeous grape hard base but first did you notice that I embossed it that's the really cool part I think so let's grab the big shot and I'm gonna emboss it with the hexagon embossing folder um, I really like I really like that one in general but I wanted where did oh it's right here I wanted a just a geometric looking pattern on here. And I felt like that was the one that would suit it the best. All right, so I'm gonna grab my embossing folder. When you're embossing, you wanna make sure that the side that you want to pop out is facing down on the side that says stamping up. And I will tell you with one of these that I did, I actually did it backwards and it still looked fine. Um, but I really want the hexagons popping out. So I'm gonna put the color face down on the side that says Stampin' Up. All right, now this is one of our thicker embossing folders. So I just need one clear plate on my regular Big Shot platform. Thanks guys. I look like I have a tan. No, it's just because I painted my fingernails, I think. <laughs> Isn't that amazing? What painted fingernails will do. I need a tan. I didn't get very tan this summer and usually I do, but going to Alaska kind of put a crimp in my tan. We didn't go any, anywhere beachy. All right, so there we have our um, card front, basically, our, our part that's going to go on our card front. And, well, I didn't even bring my piece of goodness. Yeah. All right, I'm going to go ahead and adhere this down on my card front. In a minute, we're gonna spritz it with some shimmer paint. Don't let me forget to do that. All right, so there we go. Now, we've got this piece left, and we're gonna cut out some of these beautiful snowflakes. And I wanted some dark ones. See how I have dark, and I want some light ones, the same size, and then just kind of a, a sprinkling. So I'm not gonna use the biggest one. I'm gonna use the second biggest one. And I'm going to use these tiny little, the little babies. And then we've got this one here. And we'll do this one. All right, I think that's good. I guess we could go ahead. It really doesn't matter. You can just cut out whichever ones you like. Mm, let's put another one right there. So depending on where you cut, where you place your framelits, depends, or it's gonna change the color of your snowflake. All right, so let's pick that up, bring the Big Shot back over. This time, 
I'm using my magnetic platform. Now these are intricate framelits, which means if you have the precision base plate, you can use that and it will help you cut these very nicely. But if you guys know me, I love to use a dryer sheet with my framelits. It helps to pull all the little doodads out, which you'll see in just a little while. But a precision base plate works really well too. All right, so let's just see. Now I'm gonna have to cut again because I need that one in a light color. The watercolor paper is kind of thick, so you might wanna go through twice just for good measure. Now see, I can lift that up. Hopefully you guys can see that. And it's sticking there to the dryer sheet, so I'll just be able to peel it off nicely. And let's do one of these down here and one of these, hmm, how about right there? All right, going through again. Thank you for sharing. Janet, you're saying you can't stop spritzing everything with shimmer paint, me too. I am addicted to spritzing everything with shimmer paint. Every project I'm doing on Friday is spritzed in shimmer paint. I hear you, my friend, I know. All right, so let's peel this off and let's look at what we have and where we want them to go. Look, you guys are watching me. I'm putting them all back where they go because I am notorious for losing my framelits. And this one has lots, let's see, will it fit in there? No, this one has lots and lots of little ones. So I've got to be very careful. Don't let me lose them. All right, so let's peel this off. See the dryer sheet? Well, I missed half the dryer sheet there. So luckily I have this awesome little tool right here, which works beautifully. I want you to notice that one of these little doodads is a star. Keep that, all right, because we're gonna use it. All right, let's see if this one will peel off. These snowflakes just are screaming to be spritzed, don't you think? Let's see, there we go. And here's a little baby. It does, you're right, Sarah. Instant sparkle and it dries so quickly, almost instantly, right? Very, very quick. All right, now, how should we glue these? I know you guys are gonna ask. So, two recommendations. You can put an adhesive sheet behind your watercolor paper before you um, die cut. Look at this one, I love how it's dark right there. And you can do what I'm gonna do today and use the fine tip glue pen. Shocker, I know, I'm using the fine tip glue pen. Are you guys shocked? But I'm gonna show you why. Well, not why, but something that I do to help. All right, so I'm gonna put the dark one at the bottom where the light color is and vice versa. Mm, let's see, maybe here. Oops, we gotta get rid of some of those little doodads. And we'll put one of the dark ones down here. So really you can just arrange them however you want. And I'm gonna take the fine tip glue pen and very carefully, I'm gonna dab some glue in some of these spots. I have a love-hate relationship with the fine glue tip pen. You guys know I'm a messy, messy, messy scrapper. So I have trouble because then I start, whoopsie, I start moving things around. But I think this is gonna work because I'm gonna lay something on top of it so that they won't move and then I'm gonna spritz it. So even if I did get glue where I don't want it, you won't really be able to see. All right. Now this beautiful snowflake showcase, um, I'm reading your comments. Hold on just a second. I can't talk in, read at the same time, I'm sorry. Um, this beautiful snowflake showcase will be available tomorrow, starting tomorrow, okay? And if you, I know some of you are wanting it immediately, you don't wanna wait. So 
So if you wanna put your order in first thing in the morning, here's the host code that you can use. And I will send you Friday's Make and Takes for free next week. And next week is crazy week for me because I leave on Wednesday morning. So I'm only working Monday and Tuesday next week. There won't be any lives next week. But I will hopefully get all of those make and takes out before I leave. All right, now take that little star, remember the little star, and put it somewhere. I don't know what I did with the purple one. Is it still on the sheet? Yes, it is. Yay. Okay, now who did I see? Wendy. Yes, Wendy says if you use the adhesive back, you cannot use the dryer sheet. You can, but it it's not going to hold them onto the dryer sheet as well. The, I like the dryer sheet for another reason. It creates kind of a shim and it makes a really tight cut for you. Um, tighter than if there's nothing else there, so it will help, but it is getting quite thick if you use adhesive back and the dryer sheet. All right, so I'm gonna take my glue, blo my giant block. Can you tell how dirty it is? Because this is what I use it for. <laughs> I am just gonna lay it down right there. And it's gonna hold all those little things in place until we're ready and it's gonna dry them. All right, let's stamp. You know, <laughs> I don't know what my problem is, but I did not get a block for this stamp either. Usually I'm so prepared. I'm gonna blame it on the stomach bug. The evil, evil stomach bug that was here. Hopefully the stomach bug will not make a reappearance in any of my family members. All right, what did I use? Surround yourself. This one right here, surround yourself. It really wasn't too bad of a stomach bug. Quick, that's how we like them, right? Quick. All right, here we go, vellum. This is kind of a clear paper. Um, you know what, I'm gonna put this right here because I don't wanna forget to spritz. I'm afraid I'm gonna forget. And we're gonna heat emboss that. And I have all my heat emboss stuff here somewhere. All right, get your embossing buddy. And rub it over your paper so that you can re you remove any static electricity that's gonna hold those little, those little embossing powder pieces in places we don't want them. Stamp in Versamark, which is a clear ink. And then we're gonna take our white embossing powder. And, you know, I hope you guys can't see that I have random things in my embossing powder. Fibers, I don't know what that, how that happened, but they are there. I'm sure none of you have anything like that. Okay, so there we go. We've put the white embossing powder on there. And let's grab the heat tool. Hi, Leslie, good morning. Heat tool, we're gonna hold it on here. And you've got to be careful with your vellum because it will scorch faster than your cardstock. So make sure you're moving it around and not just leaving it in one place. And I feel it getting pretty hot, so here it goes. Yep, there it goes. It's turning shiny and white. All right, there we go. Now I'm gonna tell you guys, I do have a little bit of a, oh, what's the word? A dilemma with our vellum. I love to adhere vellum with fast views, and I know many of you have fast views. It may even still be on the clearance rack. Um, but we're gonna just trim this down just to the height and the width of the words, okay? A little bit longer than the words, actually. Um, another thing that you can do, another way that you can adhere this is with the multi-purpose adhesive sheet. You can put that, well, come on. I need my stamp and trimmer, there we go. You can adhere this by putting the multi-purpose adhesive sheet on the back of it, okay? Um, but I am just gonna use Fast Fuse and I'm gonna just kind of cut it. My goodness, I did a terrible job on that paper cutter. <laughs> All right, I'm just gonna cut each end at an angle. Okay, so it's just kind of a parallelogram, if you will. Now, let's spritz. I think we're dry enough. All right, in my spritzer, this is a spritzer. They are, you get two in a pack for $3. And this is the Frost White 
um, glimmer paper. And I put, I filled this with rubbing alcohol. Um, the lower percentage, I think it was about 50% um, on the rubbing alcohol. I found that the high percentage does not work. I didn't know that, but I found out that it does not. Um, so I filled it with al rubbing alcohol, and then I just poured like four or five drops of this in there. That's probably even more than you need. So then you just shake it up, and I'm just gonna cover it like that. Isn't it beautiful? You probably can't even see from, from the camera, but I assure you, it is beautiful. I'm gonna give it a second to dry before I adhere this other thing on here. I'm also gonna add some other little things. These are the, and I'm almost out of them, the Frosted and Clear, let me see if I can remember the name, Frosted and Clear Epoxy Dots. I believe that's what they are called. Oh, not sticking to my finger, goodness. There we go. And they, are, they come in two sizes in the package. So I'm gonna do a few of those and a few just regular rhinestones like that. Now let's find this and I am just gonna go on the back with Fast Fuse. I find that Fast Fuse does not show through. I'm gonna go like just right there and then I had a few more snowflakes that have now, here they are, disappeared, and I'm gonna kind of overlap with, overlap the sentiment. My hands do look tan, I can see it on the iPad, woo! It's just the lighting, I assure you. Let's see, should we do one? No, just one. All right, and that's it, guys, so cute, right? I'm gonna show you the original, here, let me make sure I get my fine tip glue pen closed. We don't wanna leave that open, because little clog. All right, so here's the original. You can see, very similar. Now here, let me show you some other color schemes, okay? The first one I almost love just as much. This, can you guess what colors those are? I'm gonna say you're not gonna be able to guess, because it really blended together to make totally different colors. It is Lovely Lipstick and Pineapple Punch. Look at that in the middle. Doesn't that look like our um, grapefruit? Yeah, so they blend it together. Isn't that beautiful? Love it. And I used a different sentiment here, hello friend. So let's do that. There's those. And then the other one I made is for those of you who love the blues. Can you guess? You probably can guess this one. Coastal Cabana and Bermuda Bay. Beautiful, right? And our original little star, Melon Mambo and a Gorgeous Grape. So what do you guys think? Aren't these beautiful? Isn't this a beautiful way to use these snowflakes? And they're not, it's not a Christmas card. It's just, this one says, hello friend. This one's, this one says, sending a blizzard of wishes for a wonderful season. That could really be anything, couldn't it? Doesn't have to be Christmas. Um, it could be the winter season because sometimes people get, you know, down during the winter. So that might be a nice little pick me up. So there's that and that. So here are the stamps again. I The Blizzard of Wishes is from this set. On Friday, I'm going to be using this stamp as well as several of the snowflakes and sentiments in here. And then the other stamp set, which has just up and disappeared. Here it is. Um, here's to new beginnings, sending positive thoughts, hello friend, surround yourself with happiness, it's your day, congratulations, some great sentiments. And you can see there's one of these, oh, what do we call these, medallions, flowers, I don't know, it's a really good one, and it coordinates with the framelits. Here they are. You can see this one would go on that, just like so. And then there's a flower framelit too. So not just a snowflake. Can you guys see, can you guys tell that I accidentally spritzed my framelits the other day? Yeah, they're sparkly. That's all right. They should be, right? Okay, that's it, you guys. Make sure you join my Facebook group um, and catch me on Friday. At two o'clock central, I'll have three projects for you that day. I'm showing you several more ways to use your Snowflake Showcase products. All right, guys, thanks for joining me today. Thanks for being patient, and um, I will see you on Friday.
Bye.